Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've got dupes for high-end fragrances, like some of the most popular fragrances right now. I've got the dupes from Amazon and some of the hottest fragrances that people are raving about are like my least favorite fragrances. I'm like, I don't know. So I want y'all to get into the comments and let me know your opinions on some of these items. Cause I'm like, I cannot be the only one that feels this way. All right, so let's get right into it. No particular order. I'm gonna start with Kahamra by Latafa. I think that's the pronunciation. So this is by Latafa. This is a dupes brand essentially. So they make high-end dupes of some of the top fragrances on the market currently. And this is a dupe of, I wanna say Angel Killian. I'll put the dupe right here. I've never tried it, so I don't know anything about how this actually smells. A lot of people say it's not a dupe, so. I guess it's up for interpretation if it is, if it's not. In my eyes, I don't care if it's a dupe, not a dupe. Does it smell good? So, a lot of YouTubers have been raving about this and how to get my hands on it. This costs around $30, so worth it to try. Let's go ahead and spray this. Yeah. So this smells like a cinnamon pie, cinnamon, nutmeg, and and all, oh Lord, and all spice. Very spicy, extremely spicy. So I wore this yesterday and this is long lasting. This is gonna get you about eight hours of wear. As it dries down, it gets better. So I like it on the dry down. Oh, it's a lot of cinnamon. It's very fall. I can see me wearing boots, wearing a nice maybe wrap dress. Oh yeah, going to a pumpkin patch. Like this is giving fall and winter vibes. Okay. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm not gonna say I absolutely love this one. Like, oh my gosh, this is a must have. It's a must have if you like very cinnamony, all spicy kind of scents. If you like that scent profile, you will love this. This is your girl, okay? It's a little bit boozy. As it dries down, it gets boozier and turns into like this, like cinnamon rum kind of smell. So this is a nice buy. So is it worth it? In my opinion, it's worth it for the $30. It is a nice quality scent. Next up, I love Oud for greatness. It's a masculine smell, but yes. So I have a sample of it. I like to get these samples from, what is this place called? Girl, I don't know, I'll put it down below. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is called Oud for greatness. It's good. It's like a rich, plummy, oody smell. It smells like a, just a big, strong man, right? It smells good. I like it on me. I don't know if it's the most sexy scent in the world, but I like it on me. It just is addictive. So come to find out there's a dupe. Okay, so I've got the Oud for Glory. Now they pretty much knocked off Oud for Greatness bit by bit, like the packaging, everything is very similar. I don't know if I like that. Like if you knock it off, maybe you don't have to knock off the bottle as well, but they did, so okay, no worries. Again, it's kind of irrelevant. I just want something that smells good to me, um, but this is identical to what the bottle looks like, almost. It is by Latafa. I have to say, this is it, this is it. This is it. So let me smell them side by side. I would put these on, but I got this on my nose. This particular fragrance lasts like for two or three days. <laughs> it's strong. It's not strong. It's strong. <laughs> it's a level above strong. So we shall not spray any of this on me. Um, but. She's the same. She's the same. I wore this the other day. 
she's the same. Now the clone version does not have the same staying power. This is gonna last about three hours and then you'll have to reapply. It also, it's, it's like a watered down version of this, but at the end of the day, it does a job. And I actually don't mind the watered down version because I don't need to smell like Oud of Glory for two, three, four, five days. Five hours, four hours, that's good enough for me. So she does last probably about three to four hours and this is a good dupe. No one's gonna really be able to tell the difference in the two. This is a good one. Great dupe. Quality packaging too. Again, not that it matters. I don't really care. I know a lot of people do care about the bottle and the packaging. I'm personally not showcasing my fragrances, but if you do showcase your fragrances, then this is a very pretty package. Oud for Greatness cost about, I think, in between three to five hundred dollars. This will cost you a whopping 25 buckaroos. Shall I say any more? If you like the scent profile of Oud for Greatness, girl, don't hesitate. Yes. It's a yes for me. This is Al Haramain Amber Oud. I'll put right here what this is a clone of. Never smelled it. I don't know her, but people, when I tell you we're raving about this right here, they were like, blind buy, must have, go get it, get it girl. Like they were like, this is the end all be all. If you only get one fragrance in your life, this is it. This is she. She's that girl. She's that it girl. So I was like, oh, say less. Amazon order. Yes. I was so excited about this one because the hype engulfed me. I was hook, line, and sinker on Mrs. Amber Oud, okay? I was hook, line, and sinker. She had me in a chokehold. I was like, okay, say less. And I think this was $30. Nothing I purchased was over like $39. So it was all under $39. I just knew this was gonna be the girl. They said, don't buy this, buy this. Don't, you don't even need her. She's the girl. Okay. Let me just say, never again am I gonna listen to these streets, okay? I can't listen to none of the girlies no more, never again, because I don't know what had happened here. Like, I don't know who she is. I don't know her. She's nowhere in my scent profile, okay? This girl right here, now cute, cute packaging, love this for you, okay? If you like it, I love it. This is very cute packaging, but again, I don't buy fragrances for their packaging. I'm not collecting bottles, okay? I'm trying to smell good. <sighs> Most importantly, let's get to the smell. It's a no. I don't like this. Um, I don't even know what else to say. I do not like her. I think what has happened here is this reminds me of someone. That's maybe the problem. So maybe I'm skewed based on the fact that it reminds me of someone, i.e. my dad. <laughs> this is my dad in a bottle. It doesn't smell bad. It just gives me a flashback to when I was a kid and my dad used to wear, I don't even know what this shampoo is. I think it's like a Perp Plus, is that it? Or Selsun Blue. It's like a masculine smelling shampoo. It's a shampoo for men. This is what it smells like, like to a freaking T. So I, I, I can't with this smell. Like every single time I get a whiff of this, it smells like papa, like my dad. So I sprayed this on yesterday and I had it on all day, long lasting. And every single time I got a whiff of it, I was like, papa, <laughs> father. <laughs> now I love my dad. My dad's actually like my best friend. We are pals, but I don't want him on my mind all day. This is a no. And I love masculine smelling scent. So it's not that this is like too masculine. It just smells like my dad. So it's a no just because of that. From my nose, I know it's it's supposed to be like a fruity, pineapple-y smell. I don't get any of that. Ugh. I'm getting aftershave. 
kind of aquatic, a little musk in there. I don't know the hype. Like people were really hyping this up and I'm like, girl, you done made me waste $30. Now it is long lasting and I do think it would smell good on certain people, on men. I think it smells good. I don't think it's like, let me do hula hoops and jump over balconies to get to this. No, it's not like your last pennies need to be spent on this because this is just the end all be all. I don't think that. I feel like this is just a basic scent. It smells like, what is it? Amber Combrie and Finch maybe? Like when you walk past the Amber Combrie and Finch store, it's given this kind of vibe, just some little body splash. I mean, it is $30, so it's not like I spent $200 on this. But it's not, I wouldn't put it in a great category. I wouldn't put it in a good category. I would put it in okay, average, and mediocre. And that's on what? Period. Next up, I've tried, I don't know how, I cannot pronounce most of these. La Aventure. La Aventure. Girl, I don't know. They are really trying to be fancy. Okay, so this is how it looks. I think this is a dupe. I'll put the dupe. Never smelled the original, so no clue. But um, this one, again, don't like it. Guys, I know y'all gonna be like, what do you like? <laughs> is there anything you like? This is just my initial opinion on these. Keep in mind, I this one just came in today. All the rest came in yesterday. So I just sprayed them on me real quick just to get an overview. Let's see. Oh, wait, I kind of like that. Wait, ooh, ooh. Wait, let me see. This one's not bad. Okay, let's see, hold on. Okay, I think I can dig this one after all. It's not a have to have though, that's the thing. It's not like I'm dying to wear this. It's like, this is decent. It's just giving generic fragrance though. I'm not getting anything like, oh my God. Okay, so it's, it's supposed to be a fruity scent. It says for men, notes of lemon and bergamot, middle notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, wood notes, base notes of patchouli, amber, and musk. I don't smell none of that. I will say it is kind of citrusy. I can see the citrus coming through, like a woodsy kind of like a, uh, branches. It does kind of give you like a branch vibe. Um, yeah, like a lemon tree branch vibe, kind of more masculine, cologne -y kind of vibe. I don't know. Listen, not something I'm going to be pulling for, but again, I, I'll try. I'll mix and match some of these. I'm going to try them with some other things. This would probably smell better on a man. Um, I don't, this does not give like sexy vibes. If you're looking for something sexy, alluring, this ain't gonna do it. Uh, yeah, not gonna happen. Last but not least, we have Latifah's version of Baccarat Rouge 540. And here it is. Okay. So, on first smell, mm -mm. you know what it smells like? Cough syrup. It smells like cherry cough syrup. But I sprayed this. This was the second order for today that I received. Um, so I sprayed it earlier. On me, it smells like baccarat. Now, it smells like a very faint baccarat. Very faint. But nevertheless, upon dry down, you do get the BK smell. Now you gotta let it sit, okay? This is, don't run out the house with this on. Okay, once you spray it, you need to let it sit. You need to let it linger. Maybe give it 20, 30 minutes. And once it dries down completely and marinates with your skin, then you will start to smell the BK scent. So this is a decent dupe. This one was, I think, $20. So very reasonably priced, the cheapest one out of the bunch. Um, let me smell. Yeah, see right now, cough syrup city. It's like I'm at the cough syrup factory right now. 
Now, once it dries, and I mean, it needs time to marinate. After that, you'll start smelling the baklava. But this is what you get if you're getting the dupes. $20 or $300 for the real bottle. It's on you, right? Hopefully some of these that I really wasn't impressed with, hopefully maybe over time I will build a like for them, or maybe I can mix them with something else to make them better. This is just my initial impression of these fragrances and these dupes. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these? And what is your opinion on some of the smells? Do you agree or do you disagree? I'm literally curious. And until next time, I'll see you beauties later. Bye.